with this is just keep the gorse under control. We can't, we can't do anything other than that. This is all what they call rough grazing. So we've got a herd of Belty Galloways which live on this. And the reason we got the Belties is they are, they are a they're indigenous and b they will actually eat this stuff. They'll eat the gorse, and yeah, we're we're the on the moor. Yeah. They, so there's truth to that thing. It's the, you, we're start. We see a lot. Of, we got a lot of Belty Galloway yeah, all over. Right. I mean, a lot of little yeah. hobby farmers. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, that you hear they're from really rugged environments in they, oh, Scotland or something? Yeah, that's they, right, up on the border country. Is that yeah. where Galloway yep, country is? Yeah. So and they, they'll eat, they, they will eat this in preference to finest hay. Real. Now are they real, Amazing. I heard they're pretty slow maturing. They are, four year old. You want, four yeah, year yeah. before you can market them. This is what something we top with that machine. Up. Okay. Now is this yours or is this government where you got a lease No, on? this is all National Trust and we have a lease on it. Okay. So you got a grazing lease. Because yeah. yeah, we were driving through the Moorlands, I was trying to ask these guys, what is that? There was livestock we'd see. Yep. And I didn't know if it was like, you know. Yeah, we've got a lease, uh, you know, a 10 year lease on, you know, three years or 10 years. And you're allowed to maintain some of the vegetation. We, are, we have to, to maintain it. You do, yeah. okay. We are actually paid by the government to maintain it. And so there's some forage value to this. Oh, course. there is a value, but it's not, it's not huge. I mean, again, you know, farmers, being what farmers are, and we're all the bloody same, you know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll use the systems where we can. And, you know, some people abuse it, some people use it. We prefer to use it because we can actually see the benefits of using it. Um, but it's not, it doesn't always work like that. But this, this is what they call the heather here, this, this dark plant. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, these cattle like you see them, it will absolutely wolf that down. And it's just like bloody bits of stick, and they love it. They just love it. So this would be your cow calf herd up here. Yeah, yeah. This is, and this then is. how do you finish the calves on the Galloways? So we don't. You don't. Okay. No, we just sell them all again. As a commodity, or does somebody have a special? Does somebody no, no, come no, here just to buy? No, he comes and buys a whole lot. Buys a whole lot. Yeah, we just send the wagon up. We weighs the wagon when he gets here. Yeah. When he gets here, and he weighs the wagon on its way. And we get, we, we get a great price per kilo. Okay. And that's what it is. Do you have a livestock sale in the area, an auction? Oh, well, we have plenty. Of you do. Is that where all the sheep are sold? Yeah, yeah, like going yeah but we, we tend to use it for odd, odd bits and pieces that we haven't been able to sell elsewhere. Um, you know, um, they're too, they're too, the trouble is you, these livestock walks is you get the bloody dealer boys there and they have it all set up. You know, and, and they're in cahoots with each other. Oh, yeah. So there's my Belvis. So you got some red. Oh, wow. so you're in here with some other grazers then. Yeah, well, that, that guy, he, he grazed it in the way. That's a big uh, herd. I had right, no so idea there was oh, any Oh, yours back are fenced. Here. Yours are separate. Yeah, ours are separate. So all these fields out here are ours. Wow. You can see the mess they're making. You see, that's all going to be re. We've got to repair all that now in the spring. You do with that air seeder? That's then? right, yeah. And what yeah. would you put down? What kind of seeding? Oh, that'll go back to grass. Just you know, a particular yeah, what species? Yeah, well, no, we, we've got a mixture, you know, that we. We, we use all the time. Um, I don't see any uh, legumes like clovers or alfalfa. Oh yeah, they're there. They're there. They're there. Okay. Yeah, you won't see much of them now, but we put a lot of we put a lot of clover into them. You do alfalfa? Okay. No, that won't. Uh, and then looser, and we've tried that, and it doesn't work too well with us here. You got trefoil over here? Uh, yes, we have. They might call yeah. deer vetch or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, um, it, we we used to grow a bit of whole crop which went very well, and that was uh, oats and vetches and, and peas. That worked real, because when I when I was doing the, the retail, right. I had 700 pigs. Oh. And we used to feed the pigs on silage. Okay. And, uh, and that worked, re worked, worked really well. But these guys live out here, this is where they live all year round. All year round, just out yeah. in this land. Out in this that. land out here. That's, uh, you know, it's neat, neat to see them in their normal, natural environment, because yep. people are by us say, oh, they're super rugged, and. Are they supposed to have like an extra they have. set fact, of hair? Yet, yesterday when I came up, there were, there were several of them were still covered in snow. Because we had a fair bit of snow up here. Yeah. Like, okay. And I said to Chris, look at that. I said, there's, there's snow on their backs, yet it didn't melt it. And they have this double coat. They're like a polar bear. They have <laughs> wow. this inner and outer coat. That's and the outer one sheds the water and the inner one keeps them warm. And they were just walking around with snow on their backs. They just don't give off enough heat to they melt it. No, because they didn't give off enough heat through They're this. They're so this. well insulated. Yeah. Wow. So you drive How a tractor up here every day to oh, feed yeah. them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you just every here. day? Yeah, we come out and feed them every day. Wow. 
And then in April, or no, uh, sorry, we refer, in the end of February, these other ones will go. Um, and then we give it a month's rest and then open the gate and let that lot out. The other ones mean the Hereford there? Yeah, the Herefords here. They're, oh. They belong to a neighbour. Oh, okay. Um, it's a little bit of a bone of contention why he grazed in there, but I have to, I have to put up with it. That's all there is to it. What, what's, any, uh, what's the meat comparison between your Galloways and your Angus? If they were fed on, the, if they were finished the same. If they're finished the same, the Galloway beef on taste and flavour will outdo the Angus. Right. But the Angus carcass weights will be better. Right. Um, cutting out percentages, very similar. What are your uh, percentages, your your uh, carcass, dressed carcass? About 55, 58 percent. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm right around 53-ish, 55. Just breathtaking countryside. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is so good. All these fields were cut. Okay. I've got that's where you, what you call topping. Yeah. You're, you're keeping it at the. Well, we made hay in, the, uh, in these rows. Oh, you do make hay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're in gets... rotation. No. Then where do you put your manure at? What kind of program? Yeah. Right, we, we, we compost it for 12 months. Oh, you do? Okay. So all, the, all in, the, in, the, um, <clears throat> in the spring, when the cattle are all finally out. Yeah. Here's our round bills up there, you see? Yeah. That's the hay leach up there. Okay. Yeah. That all came off these fields here. Uh, but the, 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 oh. the manure, we, we, we put it in a big heap out of, over on, we've got a pad over the other side, they're called a big pad, and we keep turning it, <coughs> get it hot, <coughs> and it'll, it'll, you know, it'll cook. Um, by the time we come to spread it, which is now, we're going to actually spread it next week, it's black, like, um, just like, just like, well, compost. Yeah. Uh, what temperatures do you reach? Oh, I, it, it, it's enough that it burns all the all the seeds and everything. Okay. So yeah, and you know, um, do you ban these calves as they're young, or you do just the ban? Do you what what age do you, like do you ban them the day they're yeah. banned? Or, okay. Well, within 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, I see a line with the sack in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the last year I did that. I banned them now and they're bigger, but I, I'm always by myself on well, pasture. Yeah. I had bad luck banding them. But are they supposed to be stand? They're supposed to be standing well, up. Well, it there, depends. Right? I mean, <laughs> sorry to talk about these personal things. Yeah. No, I don't mind. <laughs> but what we uh, find uh, uh, is that, you know, when the calves are born, very often the testicles haven't dropped. Yeah. You know, the actual ball hasn't dropped. So you have to wait for that. Yeah. I mean, you can massage it down. Okay. And, and occasionally we do, but if we have one that's, what we'll very often do, if we've got one that we can't get down after 24 hours, then we don't band them at all, and we just take them out with a knife. Okay, so if you don't feel it, you do if we don't feel If we don't feel both those little nuts in there, then we, then we don't band them. Okay. Because you only end up leaving one up there, and then you've got a, what we call a rig. You know, he's, yeah. he's, it can be a pain in the nuts because yeah. <laughs> literally, because <laughs> yeah, you know, it's painful then you for him. Get up there with a the knife later. Mm -hmm. You've got to get up there with a the knife later on, and also when you come to sell them, that you can see the bully in them. You see it in their head, mm. you know. They and, still have hormones raging. That's right. Yeah. You know, these and then big cows, though. These, yeah, these are good size yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of leaf in this. Thing. Oh yeah, look at the seed in it. Yeah. You see now that'll all go out on back out on the fields. So they do. You did a good job raking and keeping your leaf on this. Oh well, we don't move it very much. We're very gentle with it. Now you got a white face. You got some. Yeah. Now that goes back to years ago, and we're talking that calf is five generations back. Its mother was a black Hereford, we call them. Right? Yeah. And every every year since, we've crossed up with Angus, with Angus, with Angus. And there's. Um, there's her mum. Uh, her mum's a little bit speckly face. But this year she, she's thrown a real white face one. It's the first one I've ever had for a year like that. Um, they are big girls. You got bulls? Uh, no, no, we hired higher in the bulls. Because we. Uh, 
requiring uh, anything that's not pregnant. Be now you are you saying ultrasound or yeah. palpating? Yeah. You actually ultrasound. Yeah. What do you, you got somebody that comes with yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've heard of people doing that, yeah. but um, is that pricier? Is it hard to get somebody to ultrasound? No. I mean, all events do it. Okay. And, and it's, a, it's a, you know, management aid. I mean, I'm, you know, unfortunately, we're in an age where we're out of juniors not earning any money. Oh, tits up. <laughs> and I have tipped many a vehicle over on this one. Have you really? Oh, yeah. How about tractors? You're oh, yeah. For, oh. Well, not now, modern tractors are so much better. Oh. But they'll still go over. I mean, wow. yeah, we have a few scary moments occasionally. Oh. So the farm is sort of V-shaped. That's the point of the V behind us, and it all disappears up over. These buildings we use, they're multi-purpose. Um, we can put anything in. That's some of our little young Angus cattle oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. We have a herd of Aberdeen Angus cattle and a herd of Belty Galloway cattle. Um, now the Angus are, are for prime beef. They're the ones that go uh, to Riverford. Um, that's all heifers, which we're, there's some you know, younger and older ones there. For, which will keep his replacements. All the steers go straight away at nine months. We sell them off at nine months and they go for fattening then. Uh, somebody else fat. Somebody else fattens them out. Then how old are these? Uh, you said these are all heifers? Yeah, they're all heifers. How old you, are the bigger ones? Well, the bigger one in the middle is about 15 months. Okay. And uh, the smaller ones are the one, are last year's calves, they're 12 months old. They're big. Um, so what do they get fattened up on? Well, they'll go on to side, May silage usually mostly. Okay. Um, some vegetable waste. All right. Um, so they're still on a are plant. Are you finishing these yourself, or they go get finished? Then? No, these will finish. Well, these okay. will stay here now. But do you buy on, the silage, or do you? No, put we it? make all that. Oh, you do make. Yeah, it make it all. Yeah. So we, that's haylage, right that's there. That's haylage, sir. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, we don't we don't buy in anything other than straw for bedding. You bale the haylage, or yeah, uh, round bale it. Yeah, your own. Yeah, I'll show you. And then, um, and they're about seven fifty kilos in a bale. Uh, you know, they whack them in fairly tight. Oh, the big round the ones big round. are 750 do you have your, kilos? Does somebody come in and custom harvest or do you yeah, do yeah. all that? No, we do. Well, this, I mean, we have a basic range of machinery. Um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a couple of tractors, one big one, one smaller one. Um, these are mostly all for grassland management. You know, the tine, the, the hay uh, turner there. You've got spring tine harrows behind, a yeah. big topper. Um, we do. We rotate. Uh, very. Uh, no animal is in a field more than three or four days, yeah, and then okay. they move around, move around, move around. And so you're protecting that. Yeah. Pasture. Well, you're rotating all the time. What is that blue oh, mower-looking thing? Yeah, that's, that's that's for topping grass. Right. You got that one there, the multi-cut. Okay. The wings fold down. Yeah. You're doing about four and a half, well, four point three meters at a time. That one is actually sold. We got a new one coming at that, um, which is four point six meters. Um, so, you know, that, that thing will cut anything upside your wrist. I mean, that's a beast of a tool, but it takes that machine to drive it. Right. Um, various different types of, of, of you know, for, for cutting grass. We keep, we keep the grass, we don't let it where the grazing is. We're on it all the time. We're, you know, making it, making it work, making it regrow, making it regrow. We don't let it go rank. Um, if it gets to that point, then we cut it right off, we bail it up and take it off. Okay. Uh, and that happens occasionally. And that's a, that tine harrow is a cedar then? Yeah, right? yeah, we can cedar as well. Uh, well, that's what we do in the spring. We, we, you know, we look at all the pastures and if they're getting a bit thin or they've, you'll see one where we've been running some cattle where it's really been, you know, paunched to, to hell. Oh. Then we fill them, we fill it up with seed and go over it and, you know, reseed it. That's an air, is that like an air cedar? Yeah, it's aerated, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, that does about uh, five or six meters. At the Those uh, tetters started getting yeah. popular over in our country yeah. about in the last 10 to 20 years. Yeah. I know they all came from Europe. Yeah. yeah. We, did, we didn't hardly ever used to see one. but Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I yeah. Think, think that's pretty well adapt, adopted from over here. Yeah. Now, uh... <clears throat> and all these buildings, you know, once <coughs> we get a little bit closer to lambing, we're not far off. We've got a, a big flock of cheap sheep. They'll all come into these sheds and then we lamb them in here and it's all, okay. this is all like a big maternity unit here. Square bale? No, again, we buy, do, contractors do it all. Oh, okay, contractors do all yeah, the they do all the actual, we, we, we just bring them up, in they come with a tractor with three mowers on, 
they cut 30 feet at a time. Yeah, they get the front mounted front, and the front, two, side. two side ones. Yeah. And we cut the whole lot and we go for it. We try and do it in four days. And then, you know, we turn it up, they row it and they bale it. Once it's baled, I don't worry. Nice. I mean, it can rain for a month and it doesn't even hurt those, but you know, we don't. Our contractors are very, very good, you know, in that, you know, you'll make the bales as tight as you want them. Okay. And, and I, you know, I'm a firm believer in not wasting strength. So they don't have any weight limits. No. <laughs> This is a classic. I've plowed that many a time. Wow. Whoa, wow. really? Yeah. All that gorse? Yeah, I plowed that. that. In fact, the I, cut, I cut all the gorse on that last year. That's that's just 12 months growth there. Wow. Yeah. How do you mow it? What direction do you go? <laughs> straight up and down. Straight up and down? Yeah, straight up and down. Wow. You wear a seatbelt or something? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> that, tra that John Deere goes up that straight yeah. up? Yeah, with that green thing. Yeah, wow. And then where do you turn her? You On the bottom here, you see where the... Where the you, oh yeah, you, my. You turn around straight back up over again. Oh. Wow. Is this gorse grazable? Uh, when, it's, when it's short. When it first grows, you know, when it's only sort of so high, some of the indigenous cattle and the ponies will eat it, but it's it's a basically a, a bloody nuisance. So it's completely well, invasive. It's very thorny, oh yeah, right? totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so... Yeah. so this gets used for anything or yeah sheep? well what we do is we run the cattle on it run the sheep on it but it, we're, we're constantly battling that as you can see um sometimes i have left it and well i've left it for five years by which time it's three times as well more than that so we just put a match to it burn it all burn the whole thing as one and then recut it again i'd be scared to death drive a tractor up and down <laughs> i don't care what kind of tractor yeah. I have. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. When I first did it, I did it with two-wheel drive tractors. Wow. Little two-wheel drive, and going up over the front, up off the up off the ground. It's got the steering wheel brakes. It's got to be a lot of people have tractor rolls around. Oh there. yeah, I mean, I, tractor rolls. Yeah, I've, I've rolled one from the top of there down to the bottom there. You did roll. Yeah, I Where jumped. <laughs> oh my god. We never, never. When we're on the steep ground, we never have the doors on. All right, oh, take the doors off. Safety doors off. So you're not, you don't leave your seatbelt down, and then no. you're gonna be able to get off. No, okay. no, take your doors off. Oh wow. And if you've got to go, you've got to go. Wow. You'll know when it's happening. Chris, my son-in-law, he, he ate one bag along, but he thought, well, i got to see what it tastes like. Wow, we grew up eating squirrels. Yeah, we used to, <laughs> I used to hunt them as a kid. That was, yeah. you got to part, you got to boil them. Part yeah. boil them, then you. So is it 500 acres you have here? Yeah, we farm about 1,500 all together. Oh, wow. These are all our Angus cows that are in here, and we're just calving at the moment. So well, these are our girls here. That's a calf born yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so adorable. Uh, wow. And that's all they get. Three year old hay. Smell that's good? all they get. <laughs> they don't get any concentrate. That smells good. They just nice hay. That's all these cows. The, the cows, when they're big enough, will have a creep feed. They look like they're fed well. They're all right. They're all right. How big, how heavy are these bales then? Ah. You know, because. You know, the nature of the land, you know, and it's expensive. You know, I mean, it costs, what, dollars probably, $200 an acre to receive? Yeah. Uh, it's not cheap. No, it's not cheap. You know, you, I mean, I want to get my value out of it, so 30 years is about right. Yeah. <laughs>